The day has come. I'm finally going to do a playthrough of Half-Life 2 for the first time ever. I've played through the first, like, half hour of it before, a couple of years ago. Don't really remember it. And I've never gotten further than that, so this is going to be an adventure. <laughs> Probably a multi-day adventure. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. I've heard it's quite a Not game. that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well... Let's just say your hour has come again. This guy's pretty goth. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here, in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts of the world. All right, I'm moving. Jeez. Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Were you the only ones on that train? I don't know. Oh, uh, physics. Hello. Is there anything else to see in here? Uh, I can't go through. Oh. Aha. No spring. Unless it's a different kind of crouch. Let me just see these keyboard shortcuts. Oh yeah, I do have sprint. That's just enabled yet. Spaces jump. Alright, for reload. Gravity gun. Cool. That sounds cool. Can I open this? Welcome! Like Welcome to City 17. What's that guy? You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here, in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or All right, catch you later. passing through on your way to parts unknown. Oh, they're always full. Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Welcome to City 17. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Uh. Hello. About that beer I owed you. 
It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Oh, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. All right. Here we go. This window. Oh, physics. Look at those physics. It's loading. Oh, it's crashing. Oh, we're good. Hello. Okay. Let me read a letter I recently received. Dear Doctor. That can. Why has the combine seen fit to suppress our reproductive right. system? Sincerely, concerning the system. Thank you for writing. Oh shit. Of course, your question Ow, touches on one of the basic biological impulses. With all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Where do we go? Will they ever deactivate the suppression oh. field and let us breed again? This is very like 1984. The anxieties underlying like your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First. And let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, everywhere. as a species, immortality is in our reach. Hey. This simple fact has implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision about genetic imperatives. It also requires planning. I don't think I can go in there. Direct position to our neural precincts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the caverns of ours. But in Whoa, what is that? Holy shit. Where do I go? Can I jump over this? Supposed to be able to spread, so it doesn't seem to work. Must be expunged. It must be fought. This shift, right? Pass shift. Tooth and nail beginning. Maybe it just has no lock yet. Human urges. The urge to reproduce. We should thank our factories for giving us respite. I can't go through here. Can I? They have thrown a 
switch and exercised our demons in a single stroke. They have given Here us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us a purpose. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing field will be shut off on the day Whoa, that we have mastered ourselves. The day we can prove we no longer need it. And right. that day of transformation, I have it on good effect. Oh. There's a ladder. Hey. Um. Uh. Oh. Here we go. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. And they have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. All its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. Yeah, I, tell me. I, also I told you they'd be coming for us next. Questions. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Do our benefactors That's a fancy know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxieties under their concerns rather than I can't take it anymore. Okay. What are we going to do? I'm just going to walk into your house. Hope you don't mind. When is it all going to end? Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperating hey, you. with your civil protection team. Permit for, for the roof. There's no time to lose. What? Why? Help, help. Uh oh. Where do I go? Attention. All citizens in local residential block assume your inspection position. Get in here, quick! Keep moving. Head for the roof. Thanks, man. Dr. Freeman, I presume. We'd better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm 
Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Fancy. Whenever it freezes like that, it's loading. For some reason, it doesn't show the loading thing for you guys. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. Hilarious. What's special about today? We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Okay. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Fancy. Hello. I have a cactus like that. Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Conrad? Oh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I like this lens. I must say, Gordon, lens. you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. That's what I do. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's teleport. working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous what about. Cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my ship. But okay. Ooh. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off Whoa. me! What is that thing? Oh shit. Lamar! There you are! I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. <laughs> what Never is fear, that? Gordon. She's debeaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head. Fruitlessly. <laughs> Get that thing away from me! Here, yeah, my pet. Hop up. No, me? not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her <laughs> oh, out of there. Oh, fie. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, I like this dog. You're not an animal person. <sighs> well, Gordon, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Look how badass I am now. Well, Gordon, I see your AGV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. Hey. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. We don't have time for this. At least get that suit used up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. 
Where am I going? So many secret rooms. Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. But you'll never guess who found his this way panel? into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Why not? The massless field flux should supplement and I've clamped the massive tractor's tools. Billy's LT waterfall. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Oh, what did I do to her? Uh, Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you mind plugging us in? All right. It's right there, Gordon. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. All right. Yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh. Thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Yeah, Let's edit go it all. Bring Gordon through now. Edit all the right work. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. <laughs> hey. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. That's sad. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. All right. Let's do this. Excellent. Initialize somewhere. In three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage. And best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your head, the freaking head hopper! Oh, no! Whoa.
Oh. <laughs> well, that was easy. Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Oh, yeah. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna <laughs> need it. The iconic crowbar. Nobody gonna stand in my way now. Where? I don't think so. Skin needs more elevators. Cover up the loading screens. Help me! Stop! We didn't do anything! Ah. <laughs> Bars are better than guns and tasers. Ah. God. Uh, they got me. Uh. Oh, I spawned right there. 